So my my bottom line on this, my take, and you can hate me for it, is that the Linux community needs to stop relying on the command line as a crutch. For creating mm. user experiences that are actually usable. Yeah. They can't just say, well, uh, it, the GUI doesn't need to do this because it can just be done in the command line. Because until that attitude changes, I'm never going to be able to get my brother-in-law using Linux. Again, though, until that attitude changes in the noob-friendly distros. Because I don't think sure. like the Linux community needs to change as a whole. I don't think we need to like noobify the the like elite user experience. arch is going to be arch yeah and that's great fine yeah yeah but there's a lot of noob friendly distros that i think could learn a lot from and and this is honestly and this was something i was also going to sort of discuss in part five maybe but well, we'll see maybe i'll leave it out maybe i'll just talk to you guys about it now um one of the other one of the other sort of problems that i see is that this kind of ux research that a company like Microsoft or a company like Apple spends significant amounts of time and significant amounts of money on, whatever the end result they end up with might be. Uh, they, they at least apparently right. do the research. Yeah. Um, one of the things they, they spend so much time on is having people who are not familiar with the product come in and use it and provide feedback. They, they watch them. They watch them use it. And I mean, that's one of the things that Windows is always sending telemetry data about is how people are interacting with the software. Do they actually use this button? Can they, can they not find it? Things like that, right? And that's something that Linux, I, I don't see outside of a, a mega corporation like Valve coming in and doing this. That's something that I don't see a way for Linux as a community to fix. Because one of the things about the Linux community is it's the Linux community, not the broader internet or computer using or just existing on this planet community. And unless you have money, like actual resources to throw at it, how are you going to coordinate those kinds of, of, of like focus groups, right? Like if I'm, if I'm supposed to be, what's the one that claims to be the most windows like it's not mint, is it? No, uh, mint is quite windows like. Um, but I don't think so. I think there's one that's like basically... Zorin. Yeah. Zorin's the one. Yeah. How often, even if they've done it, how often can Zorin really afford to, get, to round up a bunch of Windows users off Craigslist or whatever, put them in a room in front of a Zorin OS desktop environment and watch them, watch them try to interact with it? It's, it's, not, it's not reasonable for a project that is largely contributed to by people who are donating their time. Yeah. AJ, that is the worst take ever. <laughs> I feel like you get a way better experience with Linux if you start using it without okay, a GUI. Then everything makes way more sense. We started out from the start. We're like, hey, we're gamers. You can't game yes. without a GUI. So, Okay, text adventure games. <laughs> Just, just I, they're okay. Text adventure games are real people and too. You, you can load games using a command line. Got him. Uh, also, I think AJ might be coming from an a like infrastructure developer educational sure. standpoint. And if you are trying to learn Linux, like honestly, if there's someone in the audience that is like wanting to get into an IT career, something like that, and sure. they need to learn the Linux distro and they want to jump into the flames, jumping into the flames without a GUI. Yeah, honestly, that's probably a good idea because you're going to be forced to learn this stuff. You're going to get very used to the syntax, the usability of the command line. These are going to be ways that you're going to have to interact with these servers and you're going to have to interact with these different environments. Yeah. So, yeah, you might as well jump right into it. I, I, th this is the problem with, like, with, <sighs> with addressing these types of things because there's such a wide user. If you want Linux desktop, you want average users, you want gamers, you want all that kind of stuff to be using Linux. Things have to be a little bit more smooth and clean with the GUI. Things need to be a little bit more straightforward, stuff like that, because people are gonna wanna come home, sit at their computer, which they haven't been at all day because maybe they don't work in IT or whatever else, or I don't know, um, and jump into a game to play with their, their friends. 
Yeah. They don't want to sit there for an hour troubleshooting some random thing, doing whatever else, learning command line, doing that kind of stuff. They want to play the game. I mean, the social aspect has honestly been the biggest impact that I didn't foresee. I knew that I was going to spend a bunch of time dicking around troubleshooting things. I knew that I was going to spend less time gaming than I otherwise would have. But what I didn't anticipate was that my kids are going to be mad at me. Yeah. And what I think you probably didn't anticipate was how much of your gaming social life revolves around trying the latest open beta yep. or playing. That's been something. And that's, that's not a new thing. I have always been super into playing. And like people that knew me when I was 14 know this. I, I used to apply to be a beta tester for like every single MMO that ever came out. I used like, I, I, yeah, I, um, yeah, it's actually really sucked. Um, and if I was <laughs> better at using Linux, if I was more educated, etc., I might be able to this. It might be an interesting experience to try to be one of those first people to kind of run into the wall and try to make these things work. But at that point, you're basically like, you better be a kernel that's a contributor or something. Like that's a new hobby right there. That's a whole new hobby. And if I want that new hobby, that's a very cool new hobby. And someone else out there might want to do this, and that's fantastic. I don't. Do you want to play video games? Yeah. Yeah. I want to play with my bros. And there's like, there's some stuff, like I was able to play one day of the Battlefield 2042 beta because that was the one day before I installed Linux. And luckily it was a terrible beta. So I didn't really miss out on much. Yeah. But like, there was still some but, FOMO there. Yeah, right? but I that's see my thing. friends in Discord. I know they're playing yeah, it. Yeah, but that's, I don't even care that it's a trashy game. Yeah, it doesn't matter because sometimes a game being trash is part of just being part of the yeah. gaming community and people being like, yeah, that game's trash. And you being like, yeah, I know. I totally saw this like crazy bug where their eyeballs popped out of their, their head. Yeah, and, and you just like troll around with your friends. Face like, clip through the wall. It, like, yeah. The medium is almost unimportant, right? So, like, it's, yeah, it's definitely part of it. You jump in Discord while people are playing the game and you get one of them to Discord stream for you so you can see what's happening. At that's, least Discord works. That's sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can watch someone else's Discord totally stream. You're totally isolated <laughs> from your gamer friends. If, if you try to Discord stream, no one's going to hear the audio because that's not a feature that's on Linux. Hey, got him. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, really? I, I had never tried to. This is part of my script for the next part so i don't want to necessarily go way too into it right but every piece of communication software that i've used and you can probably guess what they are have some form of issue yep. with screen sharing oh every single one of them yep okay some form of issue some of them are really like not a big deal and a lot of people aren't going to notice it right but some, some form, form of issue. issue yeah that's really frustrating uh yeah. hey blinken says seriously guys move on this has been this has okay. Been... Moving on, the package manager in Mint, <laughs> yes, is sweet. It's actually really sweet. Like I, I, I'm really starting to like it a lot. I'm I, actually coming around to Panac as well. Yeah, Microsoft Store is trash. Okay, Microsoft <laughs> Store is better than Panac, but well, okay, I shouldn't say I don't know better. About that. I shouldn't say better because one of the cool things about Panac is that it can search other stores or repositories. Um, including ones that are only sort of compatible with my distro. So that's a double-edged sword, right? On the yeah. one hand, it means that I can end up with applications that like only sort of work. But on the other hand, it means that the Manjaro developers don't have to go hand validate every single package. Um, and I was able to get, like for example, that OBS plugin. The package that I used was, I forget if it was Snap or if it was a flat pack. It was not... It was not from the Manjaro official repository. So it was something that I actually had to right. use PAMAC and override. Um, or was it from AUR? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. The point is from something else. It did work. I am now happily functional, which is all that I really asked. Yeah. Someone in chat said, I've spoken to Discord devs about the solutions to the Linux screen sharing issues. It's just that there's very little point fixing it because so few people on Linux... Um, use Discord compared to the amount of effort it would take to fix. I mean, honestly, that's the biggest problem forever. Yeah. Because, like, looking at, okay, Chicken Lutris, egg. right? So, oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Anno, Anno 1800. Okay, so Luke and I both ended up managing to install this game via different methods, yeah. which ended up resulting in us having different versions of the game installed, which made it so that we couldn't play multiplayer. And you might say, well, how on earth could you possibly manage to do that? Well, okay, here's the thing. You've got um, 
three different ways to like install it here. Okay. You've got all these like comments. You also have Git from Steam. Blah, 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 blah. But here's the thing. Okay. Only 356 users have added this game to their library. Through Lutris. Through Lutris. And I think it's fair to say that the majority of Linux gamers are using Lutris. I, I don't mean, know that, but I would I would wager that. If you want to yeah. play anything other than Steam, Steam games, games and you don't probably going to and Lutris. you don't want a box with like wine tricks or something like that, <laughs> which I still can't quite figure out. I haven't in fairness, I haven't painstakingly read through all the documentation or anything like that, but I I'm still it is not intuitive at all. I'll say that much. Um, so we're talking, there's, there's hundreds of us, literally, literally, there's yeah. hundreds of us Yeah. and even popular games. Like I was blown away. What was that one that was like kind of a major esport that, uh, had almost no users, uh, was rainbow it? six. Oh, siege. Yeah. See, this is, this is one of the problems though. You mentioned we installed it in different ways. Yes. I have had success. I mentioned earlier in the show, I installed the crew directly through Uplay. Yeah. So that wouldn't show up on Lutris. Because mm. the only install that would show up on Lutris for that would be the fact that I installed uh, Ubisoft Connect. But then supposedly the Lutris way was the more correct way, yeah. right? Like when we, we were streaming this for last night. for Anno. For Anno. Yeah. I got it working. The, so I used Lutris to install Ubisoft Connect rather than using Lutris to install Anno and then however the launcher integration works for that. Yeah. Uh, and so I think I had the more multiplayer compatible version, but I think Luke had the more uh, performant version. That's what like, we think was going on because my, my game actually ran pretty smooth. Mine, mine was definitely slower compared yeah. to running it on Windows, like hundred percent, hundred percent. I had to turn things way down, and I got it, I got it stable, uh, but it was, it was, uh, it was sucking back those resources 